Okay folks, we're going to get ready for painting. I'm going to use Mr. Surfacer 1500 black. I've never used this before, not this black one anyway. I'm um, not sure how well to fit it. I'm going to start with 50-50 and see where we get. If it's too thick or thin, we can add more or less thinners. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to mix it up in this glass jar and then work from there. Is it a bit of a waste of paint blue in the jar? But again, I'd say because I've never mixed with this stuff before, I'm going to have to experiment. Feel free in the comments to tell me how you do it uh, and what type of stuff to look out for. So let's get into it. Okay, if you're wondering, I've used Mr. Leveling Finners 400 for thinning it. I've thinned it, mixed it and see how we get on. Also, if you're wondering what airbrush I use, I use an Eyewater Eclipse HPC. It's my go-to airbrush. I do like these brushes, uh, airbrushes. So we pour it into the cup. See how we get. It is rather thin compared to the actual paint itself. So before I directly spray it on my model, I'm going to do a little bit of a test quickly. This is my test brew. It's an old uh, fox bat from Ravel, I think it was. Um, I've been doing other testing and all kinds of stuff. Um, so we're going to test this plastic here and see what consistency we get. It's around 20 psi. If you want to know that as well, let's put the booth on quickly. thin layers just to build it up so I'm happy with the finish it's quite flat um, I'm happy with the consistency of paint and thickness, so let's paint the model.
Okay, we're going to do some markings now. And the markings we can do is obviously for our scheme, which is this one here. So we don't need a ton of markings. We need the 25 kilometer one. IC15320, uh, three, sorry, uh, number plate, which is in black. And we need this square, number three, number five, number six, which are dials, number four. And that's all we need for our, our version. So cut these out, try and leave the numbers behind because we don't want the numbers. Just get your decals. <clears throat> Lukewarm water. This has gone cold now, so I need to make this a little bit warmer. And then plop them in. 20, 30 seconds, take them out. Once they start to move the backing paper, place them on the kit. Your choice of decal solutions. I have two types. I'll talk to them in a minute about that. Right, the solutions that I have at hand are Microsoft Set and Sol. Um, setting solution is what you put down first, and then you put your decal on, take out the air bubbles, and then Sol will bed it actually down and take care of all the wrinkles and make it look like paint. This is great for Tamiya decals, it's their Mark Fit Strong. It's basically an all-in-one solution. So you put this down, then your decal, air bubbles, put this over the top, leave it, and let it does its thing, and then apply several coats after that. Um, but I'm going to use Microsoft and Set. Instead of using paintbrushes, I have these, which are paintbrushes, but they have little containers inside which hold the liquid. I've already done a video on these. Um, I found these out by another YouTuber. Um, and these are pretty handy. So I've already marked this up with the red, which is for the sole, which is number two solution. This one's marked out in blue for number one. So we use blue first and then red. So we're going to do the 25K symbol. I'll show you how that's done. And then basically the rest of the decals is the is same after that. I've got my water. I'm using a heat pad to keep the water warm. So like I say, keep your markings at close, pop your decals in, I like to have them upside down. 20-30 seconds. So the dec decals have all started to move. Um, you can see they're moving on the backing paper. If you leave them in there too long they can tend to float, wrinkle and you can just create a mess. So we leave them to one side. Get your model, work out where your markings are going. We're going to do one of the 25k symbols, which is just here on the wheel arch. So we're going to use the slit intrusion. This is a member already been clear coated and stuff. Um, so nice liberal coat of the set. Get your 25k mark in. Carefully move these off the back end. You can use your finger or carefully use something to move it around. That looks pretty straight to me. Leave that for a set for a minute or two. Now we've let it set for a little while. Get your Q-tip. Take out off the excess liquid. Try not to move the decal around too much. Roll it. So it gets any air bubbles out from underneath the decal. Because air trapped underneath the decal, this is how you can cause silvering. On flat surfaces, it's not so much an issue. But over raised surfaces, or trying to conform it round parts, that's when you can roll into some of, some of the issues. And be careful where you put a decal. Especially if you try to do 
another one on the other side once you've done this once for instance is picking your model up and not accidentally putting your finger into the decal like I've already gone and done this one as well I wouldn't rush and do too many markings at once I'll try and slow yourself down now once that's done give it a liberal coat of the sole which is going to bed the decal down and uh, get it nice so again just coat over the top of the decal once it evaporates you can do multiple coats again that's only if you're trying to conform it around certain items but I find on flat surfaces two or three coats is more than minimum and if it does start to wrinkle and crease don't panic just leave it it's working and it's doing its thing <laughs> 